made a short video has um, three different little videos tied together uh, I've got uh, three wipes I've got a uh, an introduction little eight second introduction um, I have two titles made with a little bit of stuff going on not much and it's pretty short it's a minute okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it and uh, first off here it is Weber kettle chicken thighs this is kind of a nonsense video but uh, just for uh, to relate the usage and the render time and also the file size uh, this thing takes a minute so we'll just watch this for a second and I'll show you what evolved I've already done all the different testing of it and uh, the only audio is going to be on my uh, OBS audio there's no audio on this video so it's just about done and it's smoking I cook them to about 190 with a thermometer indirect heat comes out great okay escape and uh, that's what the video looks like and what I did is um, we'll go up here and uh, look like we're gonna render but I kept a copy of the job queue and uh, these are this MKV files I did them two different ways but they both took 105 um, the thing was the CPU usage kind of jumped and what I used was um, the top command and uh, the other thing I used was uh, watching the threads and we'll go like that and I could see what was going on there so the problem with the uh, MKV file and uh, here it is I'll go size properties it's pretty small 37.3 megabytes that's cool I usually use mp4 so both of them were 37 so it, it kind of spiked a little on the CPU now the other one I did the um, we'll go right down the line MKV I did this uh, lossless 264 and the time was a little longer the CPU usage was uh, meh it was 20 to 27 a minute 17 per one minute um, the problem for me was the file size um, I just do mainly YouTube and stuff for that I want to keep one gigabyte for one minute um, that you know I have a lot of storage but that's kind of crazy so that's kind of out of the running the usage was less than the MKV I was kind of surprised now the next one was uh, a custom 264 mp4 and that one right here I'm gonna go look at the size of the file 57.9 and that's totally usable the uh, CPU usage um, was great it was under 20 no spikes or anything um, and the size is good and the time was okay also so that's in the running uh, I tried this uh, experimental 
AMD profile, and we'll go back here. I'll show you what it is. It's on the very bottom. Using your AMD uh, VAAPI experimental thing, H264. Uh, I don't have the greatest video card. I mean, it's, I think it's a 570 or something chip. Um, that was okay. Um, the time was a little longer. It did, um, it took longer. And you would think it would be less if it's using the GPU. So, uh, the thing on it was, um, the size. It was three, four times, five times the size of my regular 264 profile. Now, these are all 1080p. I mean, I played them, blew them up, looked at them, and, for, and what I'm doing, YouTube, it really doesn't matter. So I'm kind of stuck. I have two different ones that are quite, quite the same. And these are the ones that I like. And it is. This one right here, under custom, MP4 H264 AAC. It works a little different than previous Caden Live. It kind of spreads out the threads a little more. And uh, a year ago, December, it all the threads work evenly. They've done some changes. So that's my number one. My number two was this. Um, so that's that's where I'm at with this. And um, just a quick update on Caden Live 2208.2. Um, everything seemed to work. Um, I've done voiceovers, speed changes, all that good stuff, and uh, it's uh, it's working pretty good. I did subtitles. They've cleaned up a lot of stuff. The Render time seems slightly longer, but that all varies on how many uh, effects or compositions you do and other good stuff and how long. Uh, speed change really kind of sucks up some energy. So that's it for now, and I'm done.